Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the rapid fire book tag and this tag was created by Girl Reading. I will leave a link down below to her video. This is just a tag with a bunch of fun bookish questions and I think you're supposed to do it like as fast as possible, like rapid fire. So I'm going to try to answer these questions as fast as possible, but we'll see how that goes. I tend to ramble on and on and on, so we'll see how fast I get through these questions. But let's get started. Ebook or physical book? I'm all about physical books. There's nothing in the world that compares to holding a book in your hand. Okay, holding burritos in your hand is a close second, but that's because they're delicious. Books are pretty delicious too though, but in a very different way. I'm just digging myself deeper and deeper into a hole, so I'm gonna do myself a favor and climb out of this hole and move on to the next question. Paperback or hardback? This is such a tough one because I like them for different reasons. I like hardbacks because they are aesthetically pleasing, and they're also sturdy suckers, and they don't get damaged super easily. But I also love paperbacks because they're nicer to hold, they're cheaper, they're floppity floppity floppity, but they do get damaged way too easily. So I'm gonna have to go with hardcovers for this one. Online or in-store book shopping. I'm a sucker for online book shopping. Yes, I do love going to bookstores and browsing the shelves and seeing all the books in one place, but unfortunately at the end of the day, shopping for books online is a lot cheaper. You can get some amazing deals online. Can you guys tell that I'm a huge cheapo? Gotta get dim deals, yo. Trilogies or series? I'm definitely more of a series fan, even though I am terrible at sticking to series and finishing series. I think it gives an opportunity to explore the story deeper. I've left quite a few trilogies just feeling unsatisfied. So I'm gonna pick series for this one. Heroes or villains? I do love learning about villains. And I love seeing their thought process and the workings behind their madness. But I love seeing heroes save the day. A book you want everyone to read. This is an obvious one. The Bible. Okay, okay, but also Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Because it's not a Jesse the Reader video if this book is not mentioned. Am I right? Am I right? Recommend an underrated book. What We Saw by Aaron Hartzler. This book is so underrated and more people need to read this book because it is so important. In this book, it's set in a small town at this little high school where a rape case is taking place and it's about the power of speaking up and not being afraid to speak the truth. The last book you finished. And I Darkened by Kirsten White. I had a hard time getting myself to read this book because I was in the biggest slumpity slumpity slump of my life. But once I pushed myself to get over that slump and to read this dang book, it was so stinking good. Last book you bought. Spoiler for my next book haul. I just recently picked up The Last Lecture by Randy Posh, I think is how you say his name. This is kind of a sad book in the sense that the author of this book was diagnosed with terminal cancer when he was writing this last lecture. I am excited to read it though because it's about chasing your dreams and the importance of overcoming obstacles and I think it'll be a really inspiring read and I can't wait to pick it up and get through it. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. I don't really use weird things for bookmarks because I have a plethora of bookmarks to use but there have been times where I've just tucked my phone in my book and used it as a bookmark. Now now that I think about it though, I've also used another book as a bookmark, so that's kind of weird. There we go, what more do you need? Used books, yes or no? Heck to the yes! I mean, they're usually cheaper, and like I said, I'm always looking for deals. And you can find a lot of popular books that are used, and most of the time, they're in pretty dang good condition. Top three favorite genres. Fantasy, contemporary, and, um, uh... Uh... Magical realism? Does that count? Is that a genre? Because I like magical realism in books, but I don't know if it's considered a genre. But I'm gonna make it a genre. Magical realism. It's a genre. Borrow or buy? I think I know the answer to this one. It's definitely buy. I don't really have very many friends near me, though, that read as much as I do. A lot of my friends are thousands of miles away. So that makes exchanging books with them a little bit challenging. Characters or plot? I'm honestly such a fan of character-driven stories. If there's amazing characters that I find myself falling in love with, I don't care what the plot is. You can have them doing literally anything throughout the story and I'll be flailing about because I just love the characters so much. Long or short books? The longer the better, even though I will admit that I'm intimidated by long books. Long or short chapters? I'm a huge fan of short chapters. They're the best. It makes you feel like you're getting through the book so much faster, even if you really aren't. Name the first three books you think of. This Savage Song, Library of Souls, 
Divergent. Those were the three on the top of my head. Books that make you laugh or books that make you cry? Definitely books that make me laugh. I try to avoid the books that will make me cry as much as possible. Our world or fictional worlds? Fictional worlds all the way. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes, 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 100% yes. Audiobooks are such a great format for reading. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? I mean, if it has a pretty cover, I'm more likely to buy it. So does that mean I judge a book by its cover? I guess so. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Well, considering a lot of the book to TV adaptations that I've seen I haven't been super happy with, I'm gonna have to go with book to movie adaptations. A movie or TV show that you preferred to its book? The Shannara Chronicles. I kid you not, the show is so much better than the book. I didn't really like the Shannara Chronicles books, but the TV show is excellent, and it doesn't really follow the books that well, and I think that's part of the reason why I like it so much, because I wasn't a huge fan of what went down in the books. Series or standalone? It really depends on the genre. If it's a contemporary story, then I totally just want a standalone. But if it's something like fantasy, then I want a series. So that was the rapid fire book tag. I don't know how fast I was at answering those questions, but I tried to be as fast as I could be. Now I want to ask you guys the same question as the last question of this tag. Do you prefer series or do you prefer standalones? Let me know down below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. What is my head doing? I don't know. Bye chew. Hey reader fam, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on And I Darken by Kirsten White.